everybody, Laura Basson here. I'm super excited to be joining Simon Says for this card class. Um, my card today is using the full card hexagon die by Simon Says. Uh, it's an exclusive die. And what I did to start was I took a piece of Eclipse masking paper and I cut it to the size of the hexagon die. I'm going to be making a mask. And you can see here when I remove the die what it looks like. And we're just going to take the outer part and pop all those little hexagons out. And now you're going to remove the back. Now let me just t tell you right away. Uh, this is really, really super duper delicate. And I already ripped a couple of these in my attempts to make this card. So be really careful. So now I'm going to adhere this to a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock. Uh, this is another thing I learned. If you press really softly and just go in one direction, you can get it down pretty well. If you don't, you can stretch your mask and then it'll be all wonky. It won't be straight and all the hexagons will be different sizes. I learned that the hard way too. Okay, so now what I'm doing next is I took a post-it note and then I took one of the little mini hexagons that came out of that die when I die cut the Eclipse masking paper and I'm tracing it. And then I'm going to take a little mini cutting board and my X-Acto knife and carefully just cut that little hexagon. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a little hexagon mask to use so that I can mask each individual hexagon on my uh, card there. So now we, you can see what I'm doing. I'm masking that first little hexagon and I'm going to take another post-it just to get that little piece of the side. And we're going to start with Hero Arts bubblegum ink and an ink blender and we're going to start blending in the ink on this first hexagon and I want this one to be as dark as I can get it so I'm going to ink it up as much as I can to get the densest color I can and then for the next one I'm going to try to go a little bit lighter so what we're doing is we're creating kind of an ombre look it's going to get lighter and lighter as you go to the right you can see when I remove this mask that it's just a little bit lighter than the first one. See that? At least that's what I'm trying to do. I got this idea from something I saw on Pinterest. I've had this pinned on my board for a while and I fell in love with this color scheme of this wall, bedroom wall. So I went with the colors. Now we're using the orange soda from Hero Arts and we're starting again um, inking up as dark as we can get with the orange soda. Now, some people would say that this is really time consuming. And you know what? It kind of is, but a lot of the stuff I do is time consuming. That's just, that's just how I roll. My plaid stamping is time consuming and my ink blending is time consuming. I mean, for crying out loud, cutting all these masks. But you know what? This is what I love to do. This is the hobby. So now we're done. And we're going to remove the mask. And this is the best part of all. I mean, this just about makes you pee your pants because it's so awesome. Look at that. It's so cool, the pattern with the ombre and the hexagon being masked like that. So now I'm going to trim that all up on each side to get an even border. And the next thing we're going to do is to take that Paulina butterfly die. And I'm going to place that right in the center. And we're going to die cut the butterfly right in the middle of the card. Now we've got that done and I took a yellow piece of, this is basil, I have um, a package of the all the colors in a basil cardstock and that was the yellow one that kind of went with it and um, now we're taking this, I think it's called Many Thanks um, stamp set by Simon Says and I'm going to use the sentiment thank you, fits right in between the butterfly wings on the bottom. So we're going to nestle that sentiment right in there. Uh, put that on my acrylic block and I'm going to use Versafine Onyx Black. It's my all-time favorite black ink when I'm doing sentiments. It does not work good for um, Copic coloring. For that you need Memento. But for just sentiments and just regular stamping, I always use Versafine Onyx Black. So there we have that stamped. And now I'm going to, um, oh, I also die cut another yellow butterfly on a separate piece of that same matching cardstock. And I'm going to put that in the middle there. But first I want to pop up that card front with some foam adhesive. 
So we're going to put a bunch of uh, little squares of foam adhesive all on the back of that. It takes quite a bit so that you don't get a saggy card front. Nothing worse than a saggy card front. Okay, so now let's adhere the butterfly in the middle of that. I want to kind of put it down. So I'm going to just use glue. I'm not going to pop that up. So it's actually kind of recessed in there. And you can see how that fits just in. And then we're going to bend the lee, uh, not the leaves, the wings. We're going to bend the wings so that they protrude out. I love that, this three-dimensional thing we got going on here. And so finally, the last thing we're going to do is adhere a, a gemstone. Now these you can get in the Simon Says store as well. I have a little, um, there's like an assortment of different colors of these. I think they're 12 min millimeter um, gemstones. And that's all there is, folks. This card is finished. I hope you give some ink blending and masking a try. You'll have a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.